Hello and welcome to the in-depth theory section of Drishti IAS. I am Aisha and in today's episode we will be discussing about the topic which is presently very much going on in news and that is the famous Momo's controversy with, with regard to its trademark. So let us first understand the timeline. First we will be looking at the news then about the Dolma anti Momo's court case. So why the case has reached the Delhi High Court? Then what are trademarks? What is the passing of clause in it and in the end the prelims practice question. Topic is of relevance from general studies paper 3 that is economy section as under economy we will see WTO and under it the trips section because under the trips section comes the trademark. So let us begin and before starting on the occasion of Holi this TIAS has come up with up to 50% discount on all online pen drive courses, test series, books and distance learning program and the offer is valid from 21st to 24th of March. So you can download the Drishti learning app or also can call on the number and also the to avail the discount the link has been given in the description box. So celebrate holy with Drishti. So the news talks about why Delhi's Dolma Aunty Momos challenged the use of her trademark what the law says. So important word here is trademark. So there is a very famous Momos shop in the national capital and that is the Dolma Aunty Momos. This is the name by which the shop is very famous as it was started by a lady in the national capital in the around the years of 1994-95 and she has a very big role to play with regard to popularizing the delicacy in Delhi. So the Delhi High Court has cancelled a trademark registration titled Dolma Aunty Momos in the name of Muhammad Akram Khan. So the Delhi High Court has, so see there is a case with regard to the trademark which the Dolma Aunty, popularly known as the Dolma Aunty Momos, has filed against a person named Mohammed Akram Khan as she has claimed that he was using her trademark. So this whole controversy is with regard to the use of trademark. So Dolma Sering moved court against him for using her trademark. So Dolma Aunty Momo the real name is Dolma Sering and she is popularly known as the Dolma Aunty Momos. So she owns the flagship Momo shop of the same name. So the name with which she owns the shop has been the, her trademark and that is the Dolma Aunty. And this Dolma Aunty trademark is what the Muhammad Akram Khan has also used. So the court has said that she set up a small shop in the year 1994 and was the first retailer of the Tibetan delicacy. Tibetan delicacy means momos, which had since become popular across Delhi NCR. And Dolma Aunty has a big role to play in popularizing the delicacy around the Delhi NCR region. Now, I hope the controversy is clear. There are two entities, Dolma Aunty and Mr. Khan. So, Dolma Aunty has a trademark and that is Dolma Aunty. And Mr. Khan was also using the same trademark. So, Dolma Aunty has filed the case against Mr. Khan with regard to the use of trademark. Now, why did Dolma Aunty Momos move court? Now, Dolma Aunty that is Dolma Sering sought the cancellation and removal of Khan's trademark. So she has asked for the cancellation and removal of Khan's trademark which uses her name. He registered her namesake trademark in the year 2018. So in the year 2018 Mr. Khan registered the same trademark. Then causing her to move intellectual property appellate board in the year 2021. Then after seeing this, she moved the intellectual property appellate board in the year 2021. But then what happened was the intellectual property appellate board was officially dissolved in the year 2021 under the Tribunal Reforms Act of 2021. 
so the ipab was dissolved and then the s she filed the case under the ipab so and after which the ipab was resolved so what happened was that the now the case is under the delhi high court so all the cases which was under ipab was transferred to the high court so this case also came under delhi high court so dolma aunty that is dolma sering applied for the dolma aunty momos trademark in the year 2022 and it was granted to her on november 17 2023 so see she applied for the trademark in the year 2022 and the trademark was granted to her in the year 2023 but the matter is with regard to 2018 and in the year 2021 she filed the case so here is a clause which comes which is the clause of passing off so this clause of passing off is also because of which the dolma aunty got the trademark thing in her side now with regard to trademark what is a trademark so a trademark is a symbol a design word or phrase that is identified with a business so you can say that there is so many you might have seen so many brands like for example adidas puma so these whenever these kind of name comes to you be it bmw or mercedes so you certainly tend to remember a certain logo because all these things are related to logos then it allows owner to claim exclusive rights to its uses so when a thing is has got a trademark so that becomes that that thing can only be exclusively used by that owner no one else can use it without the permission now with regard to the trademark act of 1999 which governs the regime of trademarks and their registration in india so in india the trademarks comes under the trademarks act of 1999 and what does what does it do it guarantees protection for trademarks registered with the controller general of patents design and trademarks so it gives protection for any kind of trademark that has been given to anyone then the trademark is valid for 10 years and can be renewed by the owner periodically so the validity is up to 10 years and it can also be renewed after a certain period of time then using someone's registered trademark without their authorization amounts to its violation or infringe infringement so if anyone has trademarked something or its logo so if anyone else is using that logo or that trademark without taking the permission of the owner so this amounts to violation and infringement and this also amounts to punishment under the trademark act and in india the act is trademark act of 1999 so from this you need to remember first of all what is trademark in india the trademark it comes under which act and then it is valid for how many years so that is also important now what is passing off now what is passing off so first if we talk about the cadela healthcare limited versus cadela pharmaceuticals limited case which happened in the year 2001 the supreme court in this case talked about that passing off is a species of unfair trade competition or of actionable unfair trading unfair is the important word here unfair then it also said that one brand through deception attempts to pass off its products or service as another to profit from its existing reputation see what does it mean passing off means like for example i i'll say few words and you will come to know many a times whenever you will go outside you will see that there is a company called adidas and that is original while you will also find many products which is named as adi bas now like let's take example of agra's famous panchi petha so panchi petha has many different spellings but original is only one now what happens is that even though the other person has changed the spelling or the name but 
बिकॉज ऑफ इट्स रिजेम्बलेंस टू द ओरिजिनल प्रोडक्ट और कंपनी इट ट्राइज टू टेक बेनिफिट ऑफ इट्स रेप्यूटेशन इट ट्राइज टू टेक बेनिफिट ऑफ इट्स नेम एंड इट ऑल्सो ट्राइज टू मेक सिमिलर प्रोडक्ट नाउ दैट इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग बिकॉज वन ब्रांड थ्रू डिसेप्शन इट अटेम्प टू पास ऑफ इट्स प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस एज अनदर टू प्रॉफिट फ्रॉम इट्स एग्जिस्टिंग रेप्यूटेशन बिकॉज दे डू नॉट वॉन्ट टू वर्क दैम सेल्व विद रिगार्ड टू अदर थिंग्स लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल एडिडास एंड एडी बास नाउ दिस इज ऑल्सो द केस विद रिगार्ड टू द डोलमा आंटी मोमोज वर्सेज मिस्टर खान बिकॉज द things or the business what both are doing is same the name used is same but the originally it was used by someone else and then someone else also started using it and this is known as passing off so many a times you will see that upsc can ask terms and upsc you can say is fond of asking terms so they can ask that passing off refers to or passing off in recent times has been used with regard to so you need to be very clear with it then comes the dolma sering versus mohammad akram khan and another case which is as of now going on so sering was seeking cancellation of khan's trademark under section 11 clause 1 11 clause 2 11 clause 3a and and 47 of the 1990 1999 act so these are the clauses under which dolma anti momos has asked that mr khan's trademark should be cancelled and it should be revoked or it should be taken away and the clause clauses are 11 and 47 and 11 and 47 are also talking with regard to trademark and also the clause of passing off that because akram khan was not using the original thing the original dolma anti momos is with regard to dolma sering so he should not be getting the benefits of it now what the court has said is that on march 6 order the delhi high court has said that mr khan's trademark be cancelled and removed from the trademarks register so this is what the delhi high court has said so it has given given verdict in favor of dolma anti momos that mr khan's trademark can should be cancelled and removed so this is with regard to the present controversy which is going on and in the end a prelims practice question and you people need to tell me the answer in the comment section and this is a pyq of the year 2010 the difference between a trademark and a geographical indication is or are so there are three statements given you have to talk about the correct statement first a trademark is an individual or company's right whereas a geographical indication is a community's right second a trademark can be licensed whereas a geographical indication cannot be licensed third a trademark is assigned to the manufactured goods whereas the geographical indication is assigned to the agricultural goods products and handicrafts only you have to talk about the correct statement codes are one only one and two only two and three only one two and three so give me the answer in the comment section and that's all for today thank you so much for watching till we meet next time keep reading keep writing and keep subscribing to the channel thank you for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications